Before we go for how to tell time, let's review our numbers. Please repeat after me. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, once, doce. Let's stop there. We'll review the rest of them later. When you want to know what time it is, you'll have to use this question to ask, ¿Qué hora es? Repeat after me. ¿Qué hora es? ¿Qué hora es? If you're talking about whole hours, one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, we're going to respond in this way. Our responses will either start with es or son. For example, es la medianoche. Es la una de la mañana. Es el mediodía. Son las siete de la mañana. Son las cuatro de la tarde. Son las once de la noche. Why do we use es or son? Well, es is used with singular times. When we talk about midnight, the word midnight is singular. So we're going to say es la medianoche. Similarly, la una, one o'clock, it's just one hour, es la una. And mediodía, midday, or noon, that word is also singular. Otherwise, we're talking about multiple hours. Seven hours, four hours, 11 hours. So we're going to use son las siete, son las cuatro, son las once. Las is because horas, is feminine and plural. In order to determine if we need de la mañana, de la tarde, or de la noche, we need to think about two things, a.m. or p.m. and is it day out or night out? My general rule is if the sun is out and it's p.m. use de la tarde. If the moon is out and it's p.m. Use de la noche. Repeat after me. De la mañana. De la tarde. Tarde. De la noche. As you can see up here, 1 a.m. is still mañana. I know that the sun is not out at 1 a.m., but if it's anything in the a.m., part of the day, you're going to use de la mañana. Before we talk about telling time when it's not an exact hour, let's repeat the remainder of our numbers past 12. Doce. Please repeat after me. Trece. Catorce. Quince. Dieciséis. Diecisiete. Dieciocho, diecinueve, veinte, veintiuno, veintidós, veintitrés, veinticuatro, veinticinco, veintiséis, veintisiete, veintiocho, 29. Now, I know that we repeated quince, but when we're talking about time, instead of quince, we'll actually use cuarto. Cuarto. This is not cuatro. You can see that the T and the R are reversed. Be careful. Repeat after me. Cuarto. Cuarto. And then instead of 30, we're going to use media. Repeat after me. Media. Media. You're probably familiar with the first of these, quarter, such as it's a quarter past five. It's a quarter till six. Now, when we want to express time and we have minutes past zero, we're going to do so as such so long as it's before the half hour. 
es la una y veinticinco de la mañana. Remember, anything am is de la mañana. Son las doce y cuarto de la tarde. They were using cuarto. Las doce y cuarto. Here, we are not going to use medio día because it is not exactly noon. So we're going to use doce. Son las doce. 9.08 p.m. would be son las nueve y ocho de la noche. In many Spanish-speaking countries, they will use menos instead of y when talking about time past the half hour. They will count backwards from the next hour instead of continuing forward from the past hour. For example, 2.35 p.m. is 25 of 3 p.m. It's 25 minutes before 3 p.m. And that is what they will express in Spanish. Son las tres, three, tres, menos 25 de la tarde. Menos right there, that's less, minus. Or if we have 8.57 a.m., the next hour after eight is nine, and this is three minutes of nine. So we have son las nueve menos tres de la mañana. Here, 10.45 p.m. Remember, if we're talking about 15, when we talk about time, we are actually going to use cuarto. Cuarto, not cuatro, not quince, cuarto. So son las once menos cuarto de la noche. Up until the half hour, use E. Once you get to the half hour, go backwards from the next hour using menos. When asking what time something is, begins, or ends, we have a couple of different questions we can use. We could say, a que hora es? A que hora es la clase de español? ¿A qué hora es el partido de fútbol? ¿A qué hora es tu programa favorito de televisión? Or we could say ¿Cuándo es? Or ¿A qué hora empieza? ¿Cuándo empieza? ¿Cuándo termina? ¿A qué hora termina? We can use any combination of these. Some possible answers could be La clase de inglés es a las diez y media de la mañana or El almuerzo empieza a las once y veinte de la mañana El examen termina a la una y veinticinco de la tarde As you can see, when we want to say something is at, begins at, or ends at, we need a las, a las, a la, a la una, a la medianoche, or al, al mediodía. We use al similarly to how we use del. Remember, del is de and el combined. Del. Al is a, the preposition a, and L, the masculine singular definite article, combined to make al. So we could use alas, ala, or al to say that something begins at, is at, or ends at a certain hour.